Hello, everybody. Welcome back to After and Morris. On this episode, we feature Dido and Esprit. Welcome, guys. Hello. Uh, it's been a little while. It's yeah. It's been so long. My hair went bright. Gosh, <laughs> the, how the times change. <laughs> right. But yes, on this past episode, we got to see a few more things happen in the aftermath of the Gator's death. And retrieving Wade. Ah, oh. yeah, got to got to get Wade home to his parents. Uh, they got to chat for a bit, and Halakian <laughs> apologized to Wade's dad. That was so nice. They retrieved Pout Pout. Syra got her fishy yeah. back. <laughs> I had to. I had to get the fish. Had to do had it for to. the people. Mm -hmm. And we had quite a bit of lore drop this past episode. Ah, so let's start with just general reactions. How'd you feel about this latest session, which I believe is session number 22? So, uh, yeah. Wade is Sylvan Moses. <laughs> yeah, that was, I think that was the general consensus of like everyone was like, oh, look, it's Moses. But he's Sylvan. Like, I feel like that's what was the general consensus. I, I made a joke when Wade had first mentioned in character that he was adopted, <clears throat> that they probably found him floating in the wall in the swamp in a basket because he's Moses. And lo and behold, like three months later, here we are. Wade is Moses. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for him to learn the spell so we can part the swamp lotter and go let the... There's a spell for that! The <laughs> there is a spell really? for that! There is a there spell is. for that! Control water! Control water no is way. a spell! Yeah. <laughs> you could definitely do that. And oh my god. I don't know if sorcerers can do it, but there, there he can also... Do a lot of other. There are also a lot of other spells. That, there like, are a lot of other spells. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Esper, what's your general consensus of this uh, latest session here? Um, that we don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh wow. Think, that was. I mean, that was just a general consensus of like, because at the end of the session, we were like, where are we gonna go? We don't know. Yeah. It's like, we're on our way to see Gaines now, and I don't even think the plan that we have is set in stone. It's not. Because nobody it's, really likes it. It's probably going to change, like, oh, three man. or four times in the hour it's it takes really... us to get there. Yeah. Oh, man, and speaking of Gaines, like, getting that lore drop from, uh, from Abnormal Chemist, uh, her character Free, like, mm -hmm. learning that uh, she, her character was did have a collar on but got the collar off but stayed in slavery uh, due to a contract and that she was just so controlled by them that she feared leaving until like only a few months ago in game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. holy crap well, that's the boy seeing her actually get flippant with both uh, Syra and the lake and that was like okay <laughs> She is definitely was not a happy camper. Well, I mean, but she, the way I see it is that she got mad because we didn't know all the facts, but she was withholding those facts from exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable why she did now, but it's kind of hypocritical to be like, you need to have all the facts when she's the one who has them and refused to tell us. Mm -hmm. um, but she also got flippant because she didn't know all the facts. She wasn't there for the conversation between Gaines. She doesn't know that we didn't make a deal for Shawnee. We, no, literally, made, yeah. we made sure that she had the choice. And that mm -hmm. the, only, the only deal was that Hag dies, Shawnee's Everything mm -hmm. else is up to her. Exactly. And no matter how many times we tried to tell her that, it just didn't get through. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it seems free isn't exactly free yet. She still needs some time to, well, liberate herself mentally instead of just physically. Mm -hmm. All I right, mean, that if I were 12 and enslaved, I'm sure I wouldn't know what to do or where to go either, and I probably would have stayed too. Mm-hmm. All right, then. So uh, let's jump into some questions from the Q&A channel here. Abnormal Chemist herself has asked, where does your character want to head? I know that you guys have basically kind of were kind of indecisive about where you want to go, but uh, where would kind of end game be for your character at this point that you are able to reveal? Um, for me, I mean, it's kind of uh, like one of the things talked about back in uh, whenever we were still in Ernery is Alekian's pretty much just trying to find somebody from the past, for, from his past that he's trying to find. And pretty much it's, he has no idea where to even begin looking. So pretty much just wherever the road takes him is pretty much where he's going. So he doesn't really have any opinion one way or the other. Yeah, and I mean, Thyra's main thing is finding herself and preparing herself. Um, she doesn't really have any goals right now. Like, she doesn't have any unfinished business. She doesn't, she's not trying to find her dad. She doesn't have one stuck in, anybody stuck in her head. She's not running from uh, a slave trade. She's just there to help the people around her and try and find herself in the process. So, since you guys have mentioned that you're going to be heading over to talk with Mr. Gaines right away with a very conveniently having uh, Isabel being able to change her character taking Shawnee's form to go and talk with Mr. Gaines. And again, Abnormal Chemist asks, now that your character has heard Mr. Gar Mr. Gaines' story, obviously through you guys again, uh, do you think, do you feel any different about him as a character now that the Ghost Gator's defeated? Like, do you think that maybe he will be different now that, uh, now that the Hague is gone? Uh, I, so this is actually one thing, like, whenever we first heard the story from him, um, for Alakian, as far as that goes, like, in his mind, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, not my house, not my business, is more or less what it was. Um, like, he doesn't agree with slave trade, obviously, because only sleazebags do. But it was also one of those things where he didn't have all the facts, and so he didn't want to make assumptions. <clears throat> and so that's where we're at right now with that. Uh, so I don't, I don't feel like his opinion really changed much, other than he just kind of feels sorry for him and the and the position that he's been put in. But it's also one of the things where he was he did it because of his own choices. So also not really doesn't feel that bad for him because he put him himself in this situation. Yeah, they were kind of feel right the same. Not so much like his house, his rules, but I mean, Thyra has been surrounded by some shady people for a while. I <clears throat> Ian like and Isabel. And mm -hmm. she's, she's been able to like understand them. Um, try and see things from their perspective as well as her own um and you know only beating him up a couple of times um a couple. but i she's she's hoping that whatever contract or whatever that they had with the hag wasn't complete like for him like she wants that for him even though she mm -hmm. she doesn't like his decisions she didn't like the way he went around about doing things but Everybody deserves their best self. And without the hag, I think he could have 
Yep. Yeah, hopefully, uh, if hopefully with the head gone, uh, his bitterness about him is going to go away, and hopefully he'll be able to redeem his vineyard. Because with the head gone, the grapes might just shrivel up and die. He said he was ready for retirement. So yep. We'll see, he seemed he seemed pretty truthful about that. So we'll see how that is. So yeah, he's probably right got now, plenty of money to just sit on for a I while. I mean, he offered he offered dual ten thousand gold. <laughs> exactly. Just like it was yeah, just nothing. Ten thousand gold. Just yeah. Like it was nothing. Yeah. So he's he's got plenty. He'll survive without a problem. Fingers crossed that, that there's no uh, repercussions for Gainra the Hag and uh, impacting his fortunes. But hey, we'll find out. All right. So you guys actually hit level six. Uh, are mm-hmm. there any new abilities that you guys are able to share with us bef- since uh, we haven't really seen any new abilities yet? Uh, I just took a level in Rogue, so I Ooh. just have Uncanny Dodge now, so I'm Dodge. less Dodge. likely to die. <laughs> yeah. That's um, always a good thing. Uh-huh. I took a Druid level, so I got second level mm-hmm. spells, but you'll have to wait until Monday to see what Second level spells she prepared. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. But uh, mm-hmm. odds are we probably won't be able to see anything until a battle, which may or may mm-hmm. not happen. Maybe, maybe not. I actually a lot <gasps> of druid spells are support. Mm-hmm. Not oh. very combat heavy. Yeah. So we might see them outside of battle. Ooh, that produces what it could be. Excellent. So, and speaking of <laughs> speaking of support, that's kind of why I took the level in row, because it's like, yeah, I've only got two spell slots, but if I'm dead, I can't use them anyway to heal people with the cleric levels. So here we are. Very true. <laughs> very, very true. All right, then. So regarding <sighs> Kev, uh, so far we've got just that little bit more information that uh, Kev's uh, body is in the Feywilds and that we got the tiny bit of details of, about the Feywild area, but not very much. Does your Do your characters like or yourselves have any ideas of how to get Kev's body back? Because we know that uh, in order to get his spirit back, uh, they kind of have to temporarily kill someone. Maybe not necessarily. Um, so the thing, the thing with the spirit, uh, that's kind of what Alakian was reaching out about was to try and find information. And so, and he got information from the Raven Queen that's like, "Hey, I've got the means. Seek them out." So probably what's going to end up happening is we're going to have to try and find like a high level uh, cleric specifically for the Raven Queen to kind of help us try and do like a ritual or something like that to bring him back. Because he hasn't fully crossed over, so we wouldn't really need like a resurrection spell. I don't think would necessarily work. It might. No, I don't think it would at this point. Um, but I don't. I doubt it would. Uh, as far as the Feywild. <laughs> I don't have the foggiest clue. <laughs> uh, it, I think it would, again, try probably be trying to call in favors for somebody that can, like, teleport us there or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's about the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we need a good plane shift, so. Mm-hmm. Um, Wade needs a good vision quest so he can renew- <laughs> reunite the mind, body, and soul. Well, yes, I mean, if we go to who, if it's like, and who better to do that than than nature drew than drew it right? So as you were gonna say, like if we go to Tyre's parent, Tyre's tribe is just like, all right, where's the drugs? Yeah. <laughs> Here, wait, smoke this. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Tyre is a. I mean, people, I I didn't envisioned Thyra as any kind of a hippie, but I guess she kind of is. Um, but it's like, they're all about mind, body, and soul. And, well, uh-huh. Kev needs to bring his back together. 
Uh, are... The Feywild? I know a, Thyra knows a little bit, but she didn't know a lot of like specifics and stuff. Like she knew about hags, but all right then. So, how about we show some DM love here? Do you have a favorite NPC or story plot or a villain so far? Villain so far? Well, I guess not really villain, just kind of like general consensus a bad guy. I think it'd be Gaines because of his backstory and why he made the decisions that he did. Like, that's pretty in depth and very, very interesting, in my opinion. Um, general overall NPC, honestly, probably the guy that we met, I think it was in her hand, that was the, uh, the half orc that was just sitting in the park. Like, I like you didn't care for him, he but he was it. fucking, a lord, a, yeah, he was adorable. Aww. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Villain wise, I would also have to agree, Gaines, because he's the first villain, quote unquote, that uh, we've really gotten any information about before. <laughs> just any, killing before them. Before being able to just stop ourselves from just killing him outright. Um, I think Heath would Thanks have so been proud. a good one if he had made it. Um, R.I.P. Heath. Um, <laughs> NPCs. Uh, I got to go with. OG Mazor. I loved Mazor. Um, but there, I also liked Vaya, because without Vaya, I think Thyra would have left by this. She wouldn't have stuck around. She wouldn't have come to um, Keijo. Mm, yeah. Um, Vaya kind of set her on this path, and she's taken this roller coaster to the end. But definitely Mazor. Favorite in. I have a thing for half works. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Because uh, I also liked Isaiah. Just being able to chill with him for a day in the park, just watching birds, talking to Philip. <laughs> Honestly, I think my favorite <clears throat> NPC right now is a tie between uh, two people. It is a tie between Loven and. Uh, the unfortunately I forget her name and I'm really sorry, but it is the taco stand lady. Cher cherry. 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 Yes, Cherry. But yeah, she and Lovin are my two favorite NPCs right now. For a villain. I would actually have to say the Hag was my favorite villain, simply because she gave me Thanos vibes. <laughs> Yeah, it's just <laughs> waiting for her to snap her fingers and uh, make her, make all the half elves speak, all the elves and half elves disappear. And speaking of elves, the dolls, the figurines. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? As as uh, as Elikin said, WTF? <laughs> what? Do you What's your impression of those uh, dolls of uh, of Elakian, Hawaid, and Isabel, especially since they are of elves? Um, what? I think if Thyra finds out about them, she's going to take them out at night and play with them. <laughs> exactly. Could I have? Um, and have because, Wade moon her? <laughs> because it, it would be hilarious for her like she would mm -hmm. love it um especially the misrepresentation <clears throat> of wade by the doll um you don't think isabel would be more funny no i mean yeah but isabel <laughs> isabel's uh figurine is a little more accurate yeah, that's true that's fair so is alakian's <laughs> alakian's is 100 percent accurate this is the most accurate out of them <laughs> it was <laughs> Awesome, but on it. But you know what? I was thinking though, for Wade, what if that's actually how Kev would react? I mean, we don't know. We've never we don't actually know met him in the in we the flesh. No, nope. yeah, we, just, we don't know. We don't know. It very well could be. <laughs> so yes, if uh, 
if you yourself could have a f- active figurine, kind of like in uh, Small Soldiers or Toy Story or uh, the Indi- Indian in the Cupboard, uh, how what basic mannerism would you think it would have? Like, would it be silly? Would it be grumpy? Would it be uh, just want to sit down and read? I I think if we're going off of basis of it kind of misrepresenting uh, who they actually are, I think Thyra's figuring would be super aggressive. Uh, I think going to instant rage mode every time it's taken out. Yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Or like threaten to like uh uh cut you in half with our axe or something. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> exactly. And it would be like uh it would be like that scene in Indian in the cupboard where the uh Indian tried to I think she he tried to shoot the boy and it just mm-hmm. kind of just goes ping right. <laughs> Oh, man, um, it's been so long since I saw that movie. <laughs> but that, 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 that's how I see you. <laughs> All right. And with Equa being in charge, she's probably going to cuss, too, in a southern. Probably. <laughs> All, right. All right, Espert, since you technically already have a doll for your character, what, sh- uh, what do you think Freeze doll would act like? Again, going off Mr. Representation, probably would be the complete opposite. And actually, like as soon as he pulled it out and tried to find a mud puddle and go run and roll around in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be that, cute. That would make that would make free want to burn it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, this like is almost a, would probably want to burn hers too if she ever saw it. So yeah, I mean. Yeah. So yeah, on the lead off of that, if you actually had one of the character dolls, which one would you keep? It doesn't have to be your own character if you don't want want it to be. Like if it was a real life figurine that may or may not come to life, which one would you get? I'd say for me, it would it would it would be a Lakian for me, uh, just because I feel like the other ones are funny, but his is actually accurate. So, it just it kind of just goes with it, at least in my opinion. Um, Isabel's problem. Oh, that's because I think I think the little taste of Isabel's figurine that we got was not enough. (laughs) It was not. (laughs) I agree. Hopefully, we'll be able to see more of it in future episodes. Then, I personally, I would take a Wade figurine. (laughs) <laughs> I would take away its hat and poncho and dress it up in little other doll clothes and uh, make it march around and, <laughs> uh, you know, learn from this guy here. <laughs> All right, then. So, uh, moving on to the next questions. Do you think Isabel has traumatized Wade's mom enough with the uh, little Spidey Bell? going up on the walls. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, probably. I mean, between, I think yeah. between that and then also bringing in an alligator that's like four well, times the also, size as they are. Well, you're also covered in blood. Exactly. <laughs> Your own and others. Yeah. And that I'm pretty sure crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Wade's mom is thoroughly traumatized. Mm-hmm. All right, then. So, Want to get your impression, guys? On Pout Pout. <laughs> will Pout Pout get some more tank mates? How long will Pout Pout live? Will Pout Pout say, I don't like it here? <laughs> Dino? I, don't don't say I don't like it here. Um, that we know of. Because in order for us to know that, Thyra would have to cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> And I think the only time he would say that is if he is taken into battle. <laughs> and if he is taken into battle, there is no more Pout-Pout. <laughs> there is no more Pout-Pout. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. Is It's just going to... We're going to have issues. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of issues. I don't, I don't even 
know if this tank that he's in has like you know like those lid things that goes on top. I don't even know if it has one of those. I don't like, think it does. Those, like, it's things? basically is it like for the way the equal was talking about it, I think it was like basically a fish bowl, but it was just like it was like bigger. It wasn't actually a fish tank. It was just a fish bowl. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of the impression that I got. Could be wrong, but still. I mean. <sighs> Thyra's been trying to pick up Thyra and Wade have been trying to pick up stray animals since Big Daki. I was gonna so, say. I mean, maybe Palpat will get a friend if he survives. Um, I'm assuming that that new friend doesn't eat other fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's just amazing how many uh, how many critters you guys are befriending and active and also right now actively taking with you because one thing for sure if uh thyra gets to meet her owlbear friend again and she has a fish tank with her i think the owlbear will uh take pout pout as a gift for themselves <laughs> <laughs> it'll be like um i i nope that's spoilers never mind it's not a more spoilers but a not certain a something spoilers. happens in the mandalorian that happened. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, that's what I envisioned yep. Coran did with Pow Pow. Yeah. Yes, spoilers for uh, for the folks at home who have not seen uh, any Mandalorian episodes yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think I got the time for one more question here. Wade Asman Shippers or Wade Free Shippers, or just French, or or just the power of friendship. What's your what's your flavor? I feel like for now, it's probably just going to be friendship because Wade's like obviously officially kind of made his feelings known by talking to Kev about stuff, but he's not actually going to act on anything because it is weird having Kev inside of his head. Um, but I think I think it's probably just good friendship is all it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I would be okay either way. Um, I thought it was pretty funny when Thyra watched Free hand Wade the letter, and Thyra whispered to Wade it was a love letter. <laughs> and that then the whole thing with Kev, and now I'm I'm thinking, wait, was it a love letter? Is it a love letter? Whoa, hold on, <laughs> was I right? <laughs> Um, Thyra will never know. No, Thyra will know. <laughs> Thyra doesn't care enough to know. <laughs> no. Um, but I, I, I would like some Wade and Asmin too. Like they're they're funny together. Like they're good together. It's like uh, they're like old souls. Aww. Yeah. That is very sweet. But yeah, hopefully we will be able to get some more information. Uh, regarding them, if it's just going to be friendship or if it does turn out into more. But uh, yeah, I'm still thinking that uh, Lovin and Asmin have something going on. But yeah, that's just me. Maybe. Maybe. All right, then. So yeah, I think that is all the questions that I have for you guys today. So yeah, everyone at home, if you haven't. Uh, checked it out uh, there you can catch up on all the amoris videos at on the links in in the youtube here and in the oh excuse me <clears throat> had to clear my throat there for a second so yeah be sure to check in on mondays for the amoris every other wednesday for the mythic odysseys of, of uh Mythic Odysseys of Theros, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and for the upcoming finale of Lost Minds of Van Delver, and again, you can watch the, any episodes that you missed on the YouTube channel here. Follow the social medias that are posted on the side. You can catch them all in the links below. We got the Twitter, we have Instagram, we have the Discord, which you can jump in at any time when uh, you'll be able to find the link in our live stream Twitch. And you can even post your questions and that we can ask right here on our YouTube channel. And there's going to be some more upcoming events in the future. So, yeah, thank you for joining me, 
Dido, thank you for joining me, Espert. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. I've been Zelda Nerd1988, otherwise known as Nisa. I am now blonde, and that's the end of the show. <laughs>